Well, I can't even get this whole thing in frame. Maybe I gotta go higher? Like, can I go... Um, I have to push some cards out of the way. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. My normal setup for trading cards is not viable for this box. Alright, so we're just gonna have partially out of frame. Like we're a fucking amateur. Alright, so... This is... Surprisingly, I ordered it second, but it's the first of my two pandemic-era board game purchases from Kickstarter. One is Magna Roma. Uh, and then... Which, oh, I, I don't know if I actually I need to check that one and see where it's at. And then this one. I only know what this one is. I don't like, recognize the shipper. Because they... But I, only, I only know what the game is. And I'm like, I don't recognize, I, I recognize the company. Sorry, I'm super close to the mic. I got super loud. So I recognize the company. I'm like, which board game were you? Were you the Roman one? Or, and I double checked because I saw the, they actually printed it on the side, thankfully. So I'm not just doing a mystery unboxing. But, this is... Yeah, it took him like a year and a half to fulfill. Um, ooh. Everything Epics, Agents of Smirsh, Epic Edition board game. It is the whole fucking box. Okay. Come on. Hey. Gravity, do the thing. There you go. Wow. And yeah, I paid the extra for the super... Actually, some thick corrugated cardboard. I paid extra for the super shiny copy, which... What's our light look like? What's our natural light look like today? I need to check it because it's a rainy day. <clears throat> that better light than usual. Let's see. Cat move. Thank you. Yeah. It's got that weird haze to it. That's the thing I hate about natural light. Looks good on the little camera screen, but on the way. Agents of Smirsh. Smirsh. Supposed like a Bond, kind of. I need to get one of those ring lights is what I need to do. Ugh. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't realize how gold this box was going to be. The one to four play a Spycraft co cooperative storytelling game of Spycraft and the fate of the world. Um, this is like their second edition, basically. Like, they did a, an original one. And then the, the epic edition is their... Uh... Though I don't know if... I kind of don't want to open it, because this shiny box is just going to get scratched. You know what I mean? Like, I knew it was going to be... Oh, God, that's just going to get destroyed. Um... Oh, God, it's so pristine. I've touched it. Well, it looks like a knockoff Sean Connery with a bowler hat. Sorry, this video is a little more amateur than usual. Really? Every video? Nope, not today. You can hear the crinkling of the cellophane that I don't know what to do with at the moment. Alright. Can I 
get more vertical. And then just try to get the whole box. There you go. Oh, Jesus. That's some suction. <clears throat> Greetings, agents. It's a pleasure and honor, agents, much epic edition treatment. We can't wait for you to experience the passion, love, dedication, and practice of the box. Our goal is Kickstarter backers, the best backers in the world. Injury tracking tokens are, are cubes, not discs. The rule book under. So injury tracking token shows image of red discs. Instead, these are red plastic cubes pictured below. Kickstarter edition, edition spy standee and spy clarification. Under components, page five reads there are eight standees and eight spy sheets for on Kickstarter order. Kickstarter backers, you have 23 standees and 22 spy sheets. Epic collector's edition Kickstarter backers. Your gold box also include one set of metal dice, one set of color art posters, one neoprene playmat, Immediately unfold your playmat and place on a flat till as soon as you open the box. Reduce permanent creasing. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, she's pretty. Anyway. Uh, whoa, that's got a smell. <clears throat> this thing is huge. It's bigger than my t current dust mat. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'm going to have to find a space for this because it's going to go right here. It's going to temporarily. Sorry if you hear my cats thundering around. These must be the posters. Okay. These are our standees, I think. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yes. Oh. Advanced skill, stealth, speed. UN, oh, it's got a helicopter in the UN coins. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep things in the order so I put them back in the box. <laughs> More characters to play. Those look like the standard ones. Aha! Okay. So this is. you know board for the board game where the neoprene one is like a apparently comically I don't know well I appreciate the neoprene play mat it looks cool I just don't ever know I'm going to use it Official rules of play. An epic showdown book. Table of contents, introduction, credits. Okay. Counter book. Jesus.
Maybe these are the posters? Oh. These almost need to go on a binder. Is this everyone's playboard? I have no clue. Oh yeah, you put your stuff in there and you can... Huh. So there's four of these, because there's four players. Holographic Devil. Secret Mission. To escalate rising tensions to treat Dr. Lobo. South America. Status. Hmm. Oh, here's the red. They said they were going to be discs, and here they are to they're cubes, like the book said. Oh, those are fancy. Okay, little stands for the players. Cat! Knocking shit over again. Oh, these are the metal ones. Look at that. Oh, man. Gold! <clears throat> wow. Those are heavy. Yeah, there's a reason why these were just kind of stuffed in there. They're not, I don't think they were standard. I guess I'll just, uh, for the time being. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything in there? Ooh. <clears throat> Stop. This is only accessible after winning every Lobo showdown in the game. If you haven't defeated all Dr. Lobo's henchmen and all the other Dr. Lobos, do not continue. Okay. Nope. In the bottom box it goes. Once I've apparently played the game a couple hundred times, I'll find out. <clears throat> no, this is fancy AF. Again, my only concern with this package is the fact that the neoprene table mat I kind of want to put back in here, even though it will quote-unquote possibly permanently crease it. Um, um, <clears throat> How did... Was it, was it like that? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, cause I want to like, I don't live with, like I have friends, I just don't play that often with them. So means this thing would have to travel or they'd have to come here and I'm like the last on the line. So. I'll probably leave it out for a few days. I will buy one of them tubes. How big is it? It's smelling my mouse pad. But is it taller? Yeah, the neoprene dust mat, I will probably put in one of those tubes. I'll see what the uh, the height is on the magic play mats. And if not, I will just buy one of those art portfolio tubes where you stick like your painting in. And that's what it'll live in. 
Well, it's already scratched at the factory. Son of a bitch. Yeah. This is a ooh, crazy intricate board game for someone who doesn't I bought it because it looked cool. I wanted to play it. I just, at the time I was living with people, where now I'm by myself. The situation has changed. So this could just end up on the shelf for five years, for all I know. Six. With over 2,000 narrative encounters. God, are you playing this over and over again? It's cool though. I'm excited. Um, with that, I thank you guys for watching and you have a good day.